know that I'm not collapsed here, but really pressing into that standing leg and finding this lift up. So it's an energetic thing and it's, it is challenging. Then I can just stay here working on my balance, particularly if I'm brand new to the practice. And this is a great place to work on balance. You can also bring fingertips to a wall and we can work here. Maybe even hand on the waistline. To go a step further, I'm gonna bring my left thumb to my sternum just to remind me to keep lifting up here. Now keep lifting the sternum up to the thumbs here. Open up through your right armpit chest. I can stay here now working on balance, making sure I have an awareness through all parts counterbalance of my left palm and my right foot kicking back as I stand up nice and tall lift and lengthen through the crown of the head you can find a little mudra here for fun we breathe deep and we lift the right toes up as we kick that foot out breathe 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 inhale in and exhale bring it back all the way through, interlace the fingertips and squeeze that right knee up towards your heart. Stand up nice and tall here, and on an exhale, let it go. <sighs> Mountain pose, close your eyes, just observe your body and your breath. Pressing into all four corners of the feet. Find that upward current of energy in the front body, this nice grounding through the back body. Then we'll drop the chin to the chest, open the eye, but really keep that lift. So if you can imagine that ball and socket joint, it's not kicking out to the right, but it's staying pretty stacked as I collect energy and strength up through the midline. Then interlace the finger on here, <sighs> breathing, breathing. Or maybe I draw the right thumb to the sternum again. This is going to help me remind to keep this. This is going to help me to remember to keep this lifted and remind me to stay nice and tall, making sure that standing leg is not locked, but kind of growing this posture here. Hug everything to the midline. Take one more breath wherever you are. And then exhale. See if you can release with control, with grace. Hug everything in. If you, if you fall, don't worry. We'll catch you. It's all good. But in time, we're going to be able to release with control, with grace. Interlace the fingertips. Squeeze that left knee all the way up. And then exhale to mountain. Awesome. Close your eyes. Observe your breath. Nice work, my friend. Then on your next breath in, inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, and exhale, dive forward. We'll send both legs out long, and inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Then release it back to center, draw the right foot in, soles of the feet come together for Baddha Konasana. We inhale in, tops of the thigh bones draw down, heart lifts up, and exhale, maybe melting the heart forward. Keep the heart lifted here, almost done. Knees back to center. Great, draw that left knee up to meet the right. We're gonna come into a little boat variation here. Just checking in with this posture. It's been a while, looping the shoulders, lifting the chins, the chins, <laughs> lifting the chins, lifting the shins up towards the sky. So we might stay here again, just really holding the weight of the legs. We might notice that we can start to release a little bit of that grasp on the legs and come here or you might reach the fingertips forward but in time you know we just really have to build the strength slowly but surely so if you rush it you might get too, too frustrated and want to quit so give yourself time to like be in whatever chill zone it is that you're in today it might be here supported and if you're feeling adventurous, you might inhale in and on an exhale, lift your heart up as you extend your arms left to right and your toes up and out. Inhale in, exhale, check it out. <sighs> exhale, keep the heart lifting up. Only think about the heart lifting up to support that lower back as you extend through the limb. Anything else that your body is wanting, fulfill that. And then we'll come into a nice... Awesome work today, my friends. The light in me honors the light in you, bows to the light in you. Take care.
everyone. Welcome to 30 Days of Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and it's day 18. Let's rock and roll. Today we're going to begin in a standing posture. Feet hip width apart. Take a second to close your eyes and feel the soles of your feet underneath you. Feel just where your body weight is shifting, maybe towards the front of the toes or the back of the knee. And we'll do a quick scan of the body here as we begin to notice the breath. Drawing your attention inward. We have a quick sequence today, so we're going to really commit to marrying the movement to the breath, the breath to the movement. Bend your knees and inhale, reach the fingertips up overhead as you breathe in. And as you exhale, flow the fingertips down and away. Inhale, soft knees, reach it up. And exhale, flow the fingertips down and away. Three more, just like this, getting the juices flowing. Exhale, release. Arms moving with the breath. And one more, you might trace your fingers with your nose, integrate the neck. And releasing back down, great. Bring your feet together, heel toe, heel toe, the feet together. Draw the palms together at your heart. 